You ever heard about how the sun is controlling us? Wait, what? Oh, it goes much deeper than what you might think. There's actually a lot of evidence of this. Like what, a bunch of pseudoscience? <laughs> oh no, it's not pseudoscience. Oh no, no. Oh no, 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 no. Actually, it's by the guy who's known as the founder of solar earth research. His name was Alexander Shizetsky, who was a biophysicist from the early 1900s. So this is gonna sound off topic, but it directly pertains to this. Shizetsky performed research on the influence of ionized air on animals, establishing the physiological action of negative and positive ions in the air on living organisms. And to keep it super simple, negative ions making living organisms more excited, and then positive making them more lethargic. And then he compiled a bunch of statistics on biospheric processes and their connection with cycles of solar activity. Whoa. Okay, so this is the point, this is his claim. Not only did geomagnetic storms, which resulted from the sunspots and solar flares and this type of thing, result in electrical usage problems, it affected plane crashes, grasshopper infestations, but it also affects human mental life and activity. And so how this happens is that the increased sunspots and solar flares increases the negative ionization in the atmosphere, which increases what's been called human mass excitability. And to to prove this, he analyzed sunspot records and compared them to riots, revolutions, battles, and wars all over the world in 71 different countries from the period of, I think, 500 BCE to around the 1900s CE. He found that a significant percent, a majority of what he classified as the most important historical events in that time period involved large numbers of people and occurred exactly around a sunspot maximum. Shizetsky proposed that all of human history is influenced by the 11 year peaks in sunspot activity in which the humans are essentially activated by the sun to take action in the world. Okay, so how does this 11 year sun cycle work? So Dewey broke down the four components described by Shizetsky's 11 year cycle. Okay, so here's number one, a three year period of minimum activity characterized by people being passive and being ruled. And then number two, a two year period during where masses begin to organize under new leaders in one theme. And then three, a three year period of a maximum excitability where people get up, stand up and actually try to change things. And they actually do change things. And then the fourth one is a three year period of gradual decrease in excitability until the masses are again apathetic and complacent. Has this theory ever been tested by other scientists? Yeah, actually in 1992, a guy with a really cool name, Arkady Pudilov, published a paper empirically testing Shizetsky's hypothesis. And he found that the frequency and polarity of events is the highest in the years of the solar cycle maximum and lowest in the year before the minimum. And then in 1996, another guy with a sweet name, his name is Sweet Bert Ertel, professor of psychology at the University of Göttingen, corroborated what he called a substantial relationship between solar activity and revolutionary behavior through statistical analysis. So he basically said, yeah, you, you got it right. So I'm just trying to wrap my brain around this research. When the sun is low energy, humans are low energy and complacent. They mess things up, they get ruled, and then the sun ramps up and then humans decide to take action and they want to change and they're not complacent, they take action. And then this is directly controlled by the sun? Yeah, 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 now you're getting it. So we really are solar beings, huh? So what solar cycle are we in then anyway? And the more important question, when is the next maximum? Well, right now, mate, we're in solar cycle 25, headed for a maximum around, uh, by no coincidence, 2025. What do you think that'll bring about? I'm not sure what'll happen in 2025, but I bet you that's when a lot of things are gonna change because that's what the cycles are literally telling us. Interesting. So have you heard anything else about how the sun controls us? Remember at the beginning when I said it's gonna go really deep? Well, let's go deeper. Oh, I'm ready. I was born for this shit. So in human design, neutrinos come from the sun and they pass through us at millions per second. And those neutrinos pass through energetic gates around the planet. And the gate that the sun's neutrinos pass through determines how your body is designed with different energy centers in conjunction with the planets. Oh, wow. 
And Gene Keys is similar to that, but it's different in its interpretation. And also in astrology, a lot of things about your life are determined by the position of the planets and the sun. And there are plenty of other systems that say that the sun has a factor on how each body is designed uniquely. And not all human bodies are designed the same. We're not robots. So at the end of the day, what do you think all this means? I think it's hard to deny that the sun affects us in some way throughout our lives, from everything from the circadian rhythm to you know deeper principles like we just discussed but exactly how much that is and what those mechanisms are, everybody has different ideas, and I'll leave that up to you. But another day, if you want, we can dive into the specifics of each system and how it works. Huh. Oh, hey, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hi, howdy ho, neighbor. Hope you enjoyed this video here we've got on the channel. If you enjoyed it, consider joining the Patreon. A special thank you very much to Yamani, Mason, and Gold Porter for being legendary producers on the Patreon and really helped to support the channel. And thank you to everyone else who is also on Patreon because you really support this happening right now. And so if you want to support more content like this, consider becoming a Patreon on Universe the Game on Patreon. You can ask any question you'd like during the live Q&A we do each month. We've got three live workshops a month as well. A lot of value there that you get for being a Patreon, or a patron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nuts. Kind of messed that one up, didn't we? Other than that, I wrote a whole shite ton on this concept of the sun affecting humans in much greater detail in my book, 10 Secrets of Awakening, in the chapter called External Influences on Consciousness Evolution. Check that out if you want to read more about this topic. And other than that, hit yeah, subscribe if you like it. Might as well subscribe to it because the YouTube lords love it and I shall bow down to thee. Or, or something like that. It sounds good. I know I'm asking you to do a lot, but hey, I love you and I think you're capable. God bless you. Narn tootin', God bless you. And uh, I guess that's it. We'll see you in the next episode. And until then, peace.